What is happening to her hand? What is going on? What are you? Ninja theory. Okay, on religion. Warning, this game contains representations of psychosis. People with experience of psychosis as well as professionals in psychiatry have existed. I did not finish reading. I don't know who can read that fast, but I couldn't read that fast. Okay, so we in the sentence now. Alright, well, um, what's up guys? KP here, and today I am playing Hellblade Senua's Sacrifice. Now, this is a game that I'm super, super, super late to. It's been piqued my interest since it came out, I think, a couple years ago. I just never got to playing it and I finally decided why not try to give it a world. Now, this game in particular, I've heard it has a lot of stuff going on. As you can see, it talks about a whole bunch of stuff dealing with psychosis and stuff, psychology and stuff like that. As a person who's actually going to school with that, uh, for that right now, like literally psychology, I'm going for my doctorates in psychology. Right now, I'm on track for my bachelor's right now, but I'm trying to go for doctorates. I want to see what this game is about and actually how it works with that and what the hype is about in terms of all this stuff that they mention and stuff like that. So, I'm finna go ahead and jump into it and see what it's all about. Let's see. I love the title screen already. Can I play this with my controller? Yeah, I'm gonna play this with my controller. <laughs> Gotta dust it off. <laughs> Okay, so I got my little Xbox controller set up here. So basically, we're gonna go ahead and get into the game and see what it's all about. Start a new game. Yep, let's get it. Okay, Hellblade and no sacrifice. What you about to tell me? Tell me something. Show me something. A few moments later. This is what I get for putting this game on my external hard drive instead of on my SSD of my tower. Turn my headphones all the way up. <laughs> Hello. Who are you? Doesn't matter. Welcome. You're safe with me. I'll be right here. Nice and close so I can speak without alerting the others. Oh my god. Let me tell you about Senua. Her story has already come to an end, but now it begins anew. I can hear her all in here, like, and she went from here to here. Bro, this is trippy. I, I can hear all these different voices from all these different angles. That's kind of creepy. Am I controlling? I, oh, how rude of me. I never told you of the others. Yes, I can hear them. You hear them too, right? They've been around ever since the tragedy. That's not quite true. Some are old. I think the darkness changed them, just like it changed her. Can you see them? Over there. Why isn't she looking? Why aren't you looking? He's in hell high. Look. Up ahead. In hell high. You see it too? You promised you could. Yes. It. 
it is real after all. I'm kind of creeped out. She's finally arrived in the land of mist and fog. The place the Northmen call Hells. Bro, this is trippy. That's crazy how you can hear all these different voices from all these different angles and oh my god that's I've never I've never experienced anything like that playing a game. That's look around and you will see them. The drowned, the sick, the flame. Yeah, they lie rotting in the fields and rivers of hell. But the dead don't always lie still here. For anybody watching, like, I go to school for this type of thing. There, there are people that literally hear things like this in reality. They're very mentally ill people that go through some things like this. I hear something. What is that? It's a deep murmur. You might think she's brave to go on this journey on her own. But it isn't bravery that drives her. Bravery only means something to those afraid of death. Said it was fear. Runs far. Far deeper. Sanua, what is you going through, my girl? The sounds in this game are amazing already, and this <laughs> I haven't even played it yet. I would advise anybody that watches this to watch it with headphones. Or I'm going to be looking crazy for no reason this entire gameplay. trippy already and I love it and I am also creeped out by it bro what happened to these people here man you have to take a closer look to see why isn't she focusing she needs to focus now 
she needs to use her eyes. Okay. Uh do not forget my story, Cinema. Because your darkness comes from hell and your fate lies there. They say the burning of a corpse will take you straight to Hella's gate. But gods and the living will follow this path. You must leave the Isles of Orkney across the Eastern Sea and find a road that leads north and down through deep, dark valleys. After nine nights of riding, you will follow a great river and will find a bridge covered in gold. The path to Helheim goes from there, across the river of knives that flows from the dark world of Niflheim. So we got Norse mythology and psychology? That might be my favorite game of all time. Let's see. <laughs> Let's go. So what is going on here? Eh, eh, excuse me. What was that? I heard. I, heard, I, I, don't, I don't like that. Hold up. I'm hearing girls and I don't know. I don't like that. It's getting darker. Who's coming? Bro. Amazing. Not this time. What is that? I know she not holding a whole head. Going after a goddess that I has Dillian. Are you sure you're ready to do something like that? You're a regular you're a regular human woman, right? And you're about to go face Oh boy. Oh, oh okay, here we go. I guess. Alright. That's kinda crazy to me that she thinks she's finna go I mean you must really love this man and I appreciate that. What is hold on. Get that off my screen. <laughs> Jesus, Kotor! I love I love Kotor so far the game, but th but this is the newest time. They bring some facts, Anua. This is a beautiful game. 
She can save him. There's nothing she can do. She's going to save him. She's good to save him. She'll never make it to hell. <laughs> These voices, man. Do you know where Bridge to Hellheim. I forget its name. She forgets too. But she does remember that only the dead may cross it. That part wasn't so easy to forget. The old fool said there was a hidden path up to it. Let's see, shall we? Yes, we shall. I forgot what the name of the bridge to Helheim is called. They literally covered it in one of my classes because I had it. I took a class on Norse mythology. But I can't keep looking at everything. This is a beautiful game. Disturbing as it may be to me, at least it's a little disturbing to me, at least. dwell in Asgard. Fact. The gods of earth, harvest, wind, and sea dwell in Vanaheim. Mm -hmm. The good elves dwell in Alfheim. The evil ones dwell in Svartalfheim. The mountain giants dwell in Jotunheim. Mm -hmm. The fire giants dwell in Muspelsheim. Niflheim is the world of ice and darkness. Only the dead dwell in Helheim. And that is where you must travel. I'm getting a God of War itch, man. <laughs> Y'all hyped about that announcement? I was. I played the whole first one. I don't think I'll ever get used to these voices in my in my headphones. It's literally like they're in my head because they're like all up in here and everything. It's so weird, man. Like, it's really odd just to hear them all in. Ugh, it's crazy. Okay. Balancing. Okay. So far, I am... I heard two voices at the same time right there. So far. <laughs> What's she waiting for? <laughs> I'm very impressed by this intro so far. I hope my mouth isn't open this whole game, but it's just there's a lot going on right now. All these different voices, the the, the the setting, all these different, it's a lot. Oh, ideas. Is that a real person? Cause that looks like a real person. Stories again, old friend. I'm listening. The runes 
is the seal that gets to hell. Focus your inner eye, and you too will see what's hidden in plain sight. So Drew, this is the guy that's been talking to us the entire time. When we look at these type of things. Is there another one this way? There it is, right there. Look towards the gate. And the gate. What is going on, guys? What? What is? Okay, so what kind of powers do you have? You're not a normal human being to do that. Years and slaved in hell, but I watched the Northmen, learnt their ways. I know you did. Can we listen? When everyone else laughed, my people paid the heavy price. Carry my stories with you, and together we will make the Northmen feel our fury. Okay, so we're normal, but we have a spirit with us. Another voice joins us. She wants to try to make them go away. Pretend they weren't real. But what good is that? When we are always here. Oh, so there's multiple people like him. If that's the case, though, then... Isn't he not real though? Because psychosis is based upon hearing voices that aren't actually there in terms of... Unless they put their own little twist on it. I mean, this is mythology. So... I guess it's the same with heights. Oh boy. It's done on the edge. Oh. Pretend it's going to be okay. But you know that death is near. Waiting for you to make... Oh, give me the... Who wouldn't be terrified of doing that? Look how high up she was. Literally. The world of the dead is ruled by the giantess, Hela, daughter, daughter of Loki. Yep. The gods feared her bloodline, bad on her mother's side, and yet much worse on her father's. So, as a child, the Allfather cast her down into Helheim and gave her power over those who die of sickness, age, hardship, and self-slaughter. In all of the nine worlds, only Hela can resurrect the dead. To Hela, your Dillion was sacrificed, and with her, you must bargain. So we're bargaining. We're not fighting, we're bargaining. Okay, good, because I don't know how finding the whole goddess would have went. I am so interested in this game right now. And it sucks because I only have a limited amount of time to play this. Uh, not literally a limited amount of time, but like in terms of real life. I have a limited amount of, like a limited amount of time to play this. So I have somewhere to go, which sucks. Raining. The gate to Helheim divides the living from the dead. Is that the face of Hela herself? The half rotten goddess that rules over Helheim. Half rotten, half human. Whatever horrors lie behind that door, she must find it. You're only pushing one side. Someone's here. 
Oh, you about to use that sword finally? What is going on? What is happening to her hand? What is going on? What is that? Hey, 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 ho, ho, wait, what, what are you? Are you gonna tell me the controls? <laughs>
dark rot will grow each time you fail. If the rot reaches Sinua's head, her quest is over. So this is permadeath. At that point, and all progress will be lost. So was I not supposed to die there? Or is it just telling us that now? It's part of the story. The hardest battles are fought in the mind. That Facts. Dillian taught her. With every defeat, the dark rot will grow and soon it will take her soul. But for now, at least, she still has control of her mind. And she will fulfill her vow. Whatever the cost. Listen to me, Senua. The goddess Hela lies behind the gate to Helheim. To open the gate, you must first face the gods that guard it. The god of fire. Sort. Whole god? And the god of illusion. Valrava. A whole god. They spill their blood to open the gate to Helheim and enter the land of the dead. So you want me to face a whole two two whole gods. I can't. I, okay. Um. Um. I'm gonna stop it right there. Um. I think I love this game already. I'm not gonna lie. Uh. But uh. Yeah. I'm gonna. I'm gonna stop it right there. Uh. This game is definitely a. A really different experience from any other game I've ever played before to be honest with you with the way the voices are in your head the way the audio and everything is the the, the mythology and, and the psychology connections and everything going on with it I love it so I'll I might play this again like this might be the next gameplay because I didn't really get to play that much I just got I basically think I just did the tutorial level of everything and I'm about to enter the actual real areas of the game so because that was basically a tutorial on combat and everything else that you need to learn to learn how to play the game so I might hop back into this a lot sooner than I usually do when I start a new gameplay instead of spreading it out I might play one more and then go to another game back to another game again but uh I'll, I'll see how that works out, but I, I I love this game so far. I really do. It, it's touching two of my favorite subjects when it comes to stuff like that. I'm literally going to school for one of them, and, and Norse mythology has always been interesting. I'm pretty sure there's there's a group of y'all. Yeah, that Norse mythology has a really big following, and and I'm one of those fans. I love God of War, all that different stuff like that. All of them, but, but uh, yeah, that's it for me. Um. Uh, like, subscribe. I'm out, guys. Peace.